So when Alex is uh, paying attention to this, what he's going to notice, all right, is we need to look back on our couple of property of exponents. When I'm dealing with properties of exponents, ladies and gentlemen, the main important thing I always want to do is make sure I'm always working with positive exponents because we can't leave our answer with the negative exponents. All right? So we got to work with positive exponents. So right now, I have a rational expression raised to a negative exponent. So how can I rewrite that so it's a positive um, exponent? Well, by looking at your property of exponents, you guys should notice that when I have a divided by b raised to a negative exponent, so when I have a rational expression raised to a negative exponent, to make that positive, I simply just need to take the reciprocal of that and raise it to a positive exponent. And there's a reason why, because if you put that under 1, and you know I can go through the whole explanation. But just so you understand, if you have a divided by b to raised to a negative exponent, to make that exponent positive, you just need to make sure you're dealing with the reciprocal of your term. Do you guys see how that kind of works? Okay. I'll go through, went through whole explanations already before. So let's just go through this. So therefore, I want to make sure I deal with the positive exponent. Therefore, I need to take the reciprocal of my rational function. Okay. So then I flip the inside, and now I can make that a positive exponent. That's kind of step number one. The second step is the power to product rule. So that's step number one. Second step is power to product rule. And what the power of product rule says is if I have a product raised to a power, then that power is distributed to both of my terms in the product, meaning that goes a to the n and b to the n. That also works for my product and my quotient. If I have a divided by b, raised to the n, that equals a to the n over b to the n. So what this is telling me right now is everything inside of here needs to be raised to the second power. Everything. So therefore, what I'm going to do is just rewrite everything to the second power. So negative x squared squared y to the fifth squared over 2 squared x cubed squared and y squared squared. Does everybody say that? So the first thing you apply is being the reciprocal, then you use the power and quotient of power. Then the third one is you're going to use the power of power rule, which states if you have a raised to an exponent raised to an exponent, then that simply means a to the m times n. So now you're going to multiply the two powers. So on my final step, I'll have negative x squared squared. That's going to, so negative x squared times negative x squared is now going to be a positive x to the fourth. Then I have y to the tenth divided by 4 x to the sixth y to the fourth. Anybody have any questions on that? Everybody see it? No? Questions? Good. I used three properties of exponents to help me simplify. Get something different, JD? Anything? Uh, I can't remember. 16. Huh? Oh, 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 yeah, I forgot. Jeez, I wonder. I, didn't, I was thinking I was saying. Yes. So our final, I'm sorry, our last simplify, thank you. So our last one that we're going to look into, it's been a while. It's been a couple of weeks since we were looking at these. Yeah, now we can simply just go through with the um, division. Our last exponent property, remember, states that now when you have an exponent dividing, then you do a to the n minus m, right? So let's simplify these. So x to the fourth divided by x to the sixth. So that's going to give me, um, so I have 4x to, oh, I'm sorry, 4x to the 4 minus 6. 
and then y to the tenth minus four. Well, let's go and write my answers back over here. So therefore, that becomes x to the negative second, y to the sixth times one fourth. So therefore, this now has to make sure it's on the denominator, right? So therefore, my final answer is going to be y to the sixth over four x squared. Is that more simplified answer? Is that what you ended up getting? Good. Yes, yeah, so you got to make sure you simplify it. Thank you so much, Hazel. I don't know how I forgot to do the last step. That's why you're the star student.